Hi, Chestnut World. My name is Mrs. Lucas and I teach fourth grade. Um, so today I am your mystery reader. Um, the book that I have with me is Ruby Finds a Worry. Ruby loved being Ruby. She loved to swing up high and she loved to explore wild, faraway places. Sometimes she even went all the way to the very bottom of the garden. Ruby was perfectly happy until one day. She discovered a worry. It wasn't a very big worry. In fact, it was so small that at first Ruby hardly noticed it at all. But then the worry started to grow. Each day it got a little big bit bigger. It just wouldn't leave her alone. It was there at breakfast, staring at her over the cereal box, and it was still there at night when she brushed her teeth. The funny thing was that no one else could see Ruby's worry, not even her teacher. So Ruby pretended that she couldn't see it either. She tried to carry on as if everything was normal, but it just wasn't. The worry was always there, stopping her from doing things that she loved. Ruby wondered if the worry would ever go away. What if it didn't? What if it stayed with her forever? Ruby didn't realize it, but she was doing the worst thing you could ever do with a worry. She was worrying about it. Now the worry was enormous. It could barely fit in the kitchen at dinner time. It filled up half the school bus. And it took up a whole it took up whole rows at the movie theater. The worry became the only thing that Ruby could think about, and it seemed like she would never feel happy again. Then, one day, something unexpected happened. Ruby noticed a boy sitting alone in the park. He looked how she felt sad. And then she noticed something else, something hovering next to him. Could it be a worry? It was. Ruby realized that she wasn't the only person with a worry after all. Other people had them too. She asked the boy what was on his mind. And as he told her, the strangest thing happened the worry began to shrink. Then Ruby did the best thing that you could ever do if you have a worry. She talked about it. As the words tumbled out, Ruby's worry began to shrink until it was barely there at all. Soon, both of their worries were gone. Finally, Ruby felt like herself again. Of course, that wasn't the last time she ever had a worry. Everyone gets them from time to time. But now that she knew how to get rid of them, they never hung around for long. So we can learn something from Ruby here that, um, 
You know, it's okay to feel worried, especially during these uncertain times. Um, but if you can talk about it, your worries will start to go away or fade away if you share how you're feeling with the people who are around you. And one thing that I noticed about um, Ruby's worry and the little boy's worry were that they looked a little different. But the one thing they had in common was that their worry started to shrink once they talked about it. So remember, Ruby, next time if you are feeling a little worried um, and share your feelings with those who are around you, who love you. Thank you for listening to my story. I hope you have a fantastic day, Chestnut World. Bye.